Should we get started? Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to Shelby on Safari. Today, we will be answering three of your questions that you sent in about cats. That's why I'm here at home, because I got the experts with me. Quite literally, this is Tamatoa, and you'll get to meet the rest of the gang as we answer why cats sleep so much, why do they like boxes, and what's the genetics behind cats? What's all their different colorations about? But before we do, if you're new here and you want to learn all about animals in the wild, pop culture, or in captivity, hit that subscribe button and make that bell go ding so you can be the first to see all the new content. Now, let's get started. That was your cue. Now, let's get started. We're gonna be here a while. So Peter, why do cats sleep so much? Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. Is that right? No way. Oops. Are you falling asleep while answering? <laughs> oh, thanks, buddy. So what Peter was saying was that cats are crepuscular animals. That means that they're most active between dusk and dawn. It's during this time in which cats are most active, running around, chasing each other, trying to wake up a sleeping Shelby. You name it, that's when they get up to the most trouble, in this case, of Peter. Here's a young baby picture of my little troublemaker. That's why they spend most of the day sleeping, to build up their reserves so they can get into trouble and get dirty like Peter here during dusk and dawn. Cats sleep for about 15 hours a day, but can sleep even more to 20 hours during a 24 hour period. That's a lot of Z's. Just ask Marvel here, Peter's sister. She, like other cats, takes both long and short naps instead of one big restful night's sleep like how we do. They'll fall asleep wherever they feel safe and secure. Especially Marvel here who snuggled up into bed on her own accord. The position they're sleeping in can tell you a lot about the cat. For example, Marvel here is quite comfortable just to doze back off. Whereas if she wasn't fully relaxed, but still wanted to take a nap, she may fall asleep while crouching with her paws flat underneath her. So that way she'd be ready to move if she needed to. Excuse me, sir. Could you tell me why cats like boxes, please? I'm sorry to interrupt your reading, Maui. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, interesting. Is that true? No. Maui was saying that cats are cryptic animals meaning that they like to hide, both from predators and hide themselves to sneak up on prey. Essentially, they'll feel safer because they cannot be snuck up on from behind or the side. Anything that goes past will be right in front of their field of vision. So essentially, they could watch the world around them without being seen and have a nice cozy place to sleep, which we know is quite important. Excuse me, Miss Stark? Stark, could you tell me why there's so many different colors of cats? Please? Nope. Oh. Could you, could you answer the question for me, please? Uh-huh. She's going back to sleep. Oh, man, we were so close to getting an answer. Oh, 
look at that look. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am, for interrupting your sleep. The genetics aspect is very complex, so we won't go into too much detail, but I'll put links in the description below. The origin of the domestic cat, Felis catus, most likely is the African wild cat. However, some scientists believe the European wild cat may have contributed to the genetic makeup of our house cats today. Eyes, skin, and hair colors are all caused by melanin. As we'll focus on coat color, microscopic granules of melanin are deposited in the hair shafts. The shape, size, and arrangement of these microscopic granules affect the coat color. There are two different types of melanin, eomelanin and pheomelanin. Eomelanin granules are thought to be spherical in shape and absorb almost all light, thus giving off black pigmentation. Whereas pheomelanin granules are thought to be elongated like American footballs and reflect light in the yellow, orange, and red range. Cats have 19 pairs of chromosomes. One member of each pair comes from mom and one from dad. Boy cats have an X and a Y, while females have both X chromosomes. It's along these chromosomes where genes are located. All the genes in the chromosomes together make up the genome, which essentially is the blueprint of the individual cat. Most ginger cats are actually male. The ginger color comes from a gene mutation on the X chromosome. And because female cats have two X chromosomes, it's unlikely that they would have the ginger gene mutation on both of them. Although it's not quite impossible. Whereas male cats have one X and one Y chromosome, and with the Y chromosome not carrying any information about coat color, they only need one gene mutation to become a ginger. That being said, male kittens will always inherit their color from their mother, whereas female kittens will be a combination of the colors of each parent. And to wrap up our talk on genes, let's talk about black cats. It's actually very rare to have a solid black cat that is truly solid black. Most cats actually have a bit of tabby influence underneath. You can see this when light falls into the fur just right, you can actually see stripes that are more like a tabby. Hi sir, I was wondering, You did it! You're finally in your spot that I made for you! Thank you! Oh goodness. So much. So much dirtiness. Oh, we're gonna have to have a good brushing, aren't we? Yes. I thought I could hear Peter purring, but I couldn't see him until I found him in an unused exhibit for some bugs. Hey Pete, what are you doing in there, dude? Oh my goodness. I have such weird cats. Oh, my beautiful girl. Oh, look at you pose. Oof. Oh. Well, we're in the same place as we started. Tamatoa chilling on my lap. Thank you so much for joining us and he's off to find a new sleeping spot. If you learned something new, why not give this video a thumbs up? 
Let me know in the comments below if you have any cats as well, because I love them. And also tell me their names, because cat names are quite fun. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you later. Bye!